Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on Instagram and TikTok. On Instagram, I post my fragrance layering combo of the day every day, so be sure to check me out there and on TikTok at joss.jane. Today, I'm really excited to share with you fragrances from my collection that have one of my favorite fragrance notes, and that is myrrh. And myrrh is a very old note. It's, myrrh is a resin and it's got a very aromatic, spicy, and balsamic type of smell. It's really unique, it's really gorgeous, and it's perfect for this time of year. It's great for fall and winter, and it's really a gorgeous note. It's featured in many perfumes, so I've got a few here from my collection and I'm just gonna share them with you today. A couple of these are a little bit hard to find now, so I apologize for that, but I just wanna share what's in my collection that has myrrh. The first one is Alien Essence Absolute from Mugler, and this is an alien flanker, and it's gorgeous. This pops up occasionally on gray market, and it's just like a really vanillic version of Alien. So you can really get the effect of this fragrance by using the original Alien and then and then layering it with your favorite vanilla fragrance like Orchidée Vanille or Kiali Vanilla 28 or a host of other vanilla fragrances. So this is a really gorgeous one. It's just in this pour bottle, so I do have to decant it into a little sprayer, but that's no big deal. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I wish they would bring it back. It does have a myrrh note. The myrrh in here isn't super pronounced, but you do kind of get that beautiful resinous balsamic quality in the background of this one. So again, this is Alien Essence Absolute. One I've talked about quite a bit on my channel is from Kate Walsh, and this is called Boyfriend. So this is a slightly newer formulation of Boyfriend that came out in 2018. There's an older version that I think has a little more chocolate, but this one is a very gorgeous, spicy, amber, resinous, beautiful, perfect for this time of year fragrance. And I think it's very gender neutral. I think it was kind of made with the intention of having that cozy boyfriend sweater type quality, but this is just a beauty and I think you can only get this on QVC or on the Kate Walsh Boyfriend website, which I'll link below. But it's a really nice one. It's fairly inexpensive. I think it's around $50 and I think it's really gorgeous. Unfortunately, this one's a little bit hard to find. This is Vrai Blonde from Etat Libre d'Orange. I love this fragrance. It's so interesting and spicy, ambery, but also like this kind of smooth caramely essence. I think there's a caramel note in here. It's just a really interesting fragrance and I wish they would bring it back. Etat Libre d'Orange is a really cool niche house. I did a video where I did first impressions of many of their fragrances and they just have some really unique formulations and some really interesting fragrances. So this is probably one of my favorites from the house. I'm really lucky and happy to have found this on fragrancebuy.ca for a fairly reasonable price because it's just a gem. Super unique and special. From Swiss Arabian, this is Shagaf Oud Abiyad. So Shagaf Oud has been extremely popular, but not this version. This version I've heard on a couple channels, but this one is definitely less talked about than the one that comes in the gold bottle. So this is gender neutral, leaning masculine. It's really pretty. It's very leathery and smoky and resinous. And it's got, I think it's got some vetiver. It's just a really beautiful fragrance. And I'm surprised this one isn't more talked about because it's really gorgeous. Swiss Arabian is a fairly reasonably priced brand. So I think I might've gotten mine on fragrancebuy.ca, but you can usually find them on fragrancenet.com or fragrancex.com and possibly even Amazon. So this is so smoky and beautiful. I think I need to break this out a little bit more. It almost reminds me of Gucci Guilty Absolute for men, which is a very smoky and interesting fragrance that doesn't smell like a designer fragrance to me. It smells very niche. So. Swiss Arabian Shagaf Oud Abyad. I think this is kind of an underrated, beautiful, if you love a slightly masculine, leaning, smoky, vetiver, earthy, beautiful fragrance, you might really love this. From Jenny Glow, this is Myrrh and Bean. This is a clone for Jo Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. So this is a really pretty Tonka bean and Myrrh fragrance. And I think the Jenny Glow clones are really good. They're very inexpensive. You can find some of them on fragrancebuy.ca. And there are a couple other sites where I found them. So I think this one is a pretty good clone of the Jo Malone original. And it's really warm and inviting and very cozy and delicious. And so I haven't actually smelled the original Jo Malone version, but I really enjoy this Jenny Glow version. From Pacifica, this is called Kindred Spirit. 
and it says it's got notes of rose dust and palo santo so this is a fairly new one from pacifica and they came out with this line that comes in these kind of cool porcelain bottles that are triangular but unfortunately they don't have caps but this one is really really beautiful and these are only like 22 dollars. this is so pretty so this is a smoky rose you kind of get the myrrh in the background this um this one just kind of surprises me with how incredible it is because it is such an inexpensive line and I highly recommend this. It's unique. It smells much more expensive than it is. I think it's really, it's really incredible. So again, this is Kindred Spirit from Pacifica. From Valentino, this is Valentina Myrrh. So this is from the Valentina line and I think these bottles are really cute. So this one is definitely the most gender neutral, I think, of the bunch and it's very myrrh intensive. It's really gorgeous, spicy, ambery, rich, resinous, just a gorgeous fragrance. I'm not sure if it's still around. I got mine probably a year ago and I'm just not sure if it's still available or not, but I would definitely look if you're interested on the gray market site. So I'm not really crazy about the color gray, but I just really love this fragrance and if you can get your hands on it and it's reasonably priced, it might be worth getting if you love this type of fragrance. From Commodity, this is leather. And so of course this is a very leathery fragrance, but it's also got that myrrh in the background. So this line in the silver bottles from Commodity, and I think they've revamped their whole line. So this is an old, I think this line is made with a lot of perfume oils. They're very strong and long lasting. They're intense. They're really beautiful. I love this one. And actually, I think this one is discontinued, so it's probably pretty hard to find, but I really enjoy leather from Kamaz. And then I've got several from one of my favorite fragrance houses, which is Lolita Lempica. So first, I've got one from the El Lem line, and this is called El Lem a la Folie, and this is a tester I bought a few years ago. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I really like the El Lem line. I think they're kind of like the original. You kind of get that original Lolita Lempica DNA in here, but it's, I think it's got more jasmine or something, but this one does have some myrrh in the background, but this is a bright, beautiful fragrance. If you like Lolita Lempica and you find this one and it's reasonably priced, I would snatch it up. I highly recommend it. I think the bottle is gorgeous. I kind of wish mine had a cap, but whatever. It's a beautiful fragrance. I'm happy to have it. And then two that I have that are from the Midnight line. This one is Minuit d'Or, which means gold midnight. And it's in this beautiful gold bottle. And this is like a darker, richer, more deep and exotic version of Lolita Lampica. It's got myrrh and it's got some resins and it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love this Midnight line. They are sadly discontinued, but you may be able to find them on Mercari or possibly the gray market, but this is one of them. And then I've also got this one, which is Midnight Couture. It smells almost identical. I can't really tell these apart um, from the smell, but they're both so pretty. The other one that I had, I think we still have it somewhere around here, is called Minui Sun. And they're all so, so pretty. And they come in these beautiful bottles. The Minui Sun bottle, it is really beautiful too. It's in a sparkly bottle. And I definitely recommend these. If you love Lolita Lampica and you find these at a reasonable price, I would snatch them up because they are gems to me. I really like them. I love just the whole Lolita Lampica collection. I think there's not too many duds in it, in my opinion. I've tried like one or two that I didn't really like too much, but mostly I love them. So these are great myrrh fragrances. So I would love to hear down in comments, what is your favorite fragrance that has a myrrh note? Let me know. And thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.